Hello everyone, we're on the campus of Mercer University and it's basketball time once again. I'm Rick Cameron and we're joined by head coach Susie Gardner and Alex Phillips from the Mercer women's basketball team. Coach, hard to believe, second year already. Seems like uh, you only got here a day or two ago, but certainly uh, last year you had to get prepared early. Uh, a team that uh, you pretty much inherited that uh, to coach the year. Now a year later, how much difference is it to start a new season? Well, it's like night and day, to be honest with you. Uh, it, we're so happy and our staff is so excited about uh, this new year. Uh, last year was really, really tough for everybody. Uh, there were a few positives, but we're just anxious to move on and not, not mention the words last year as much as possible. Yeah. A coach, uh, you've been successful as a player. You've been successful as a coach everywhere that you've been and uh, been a staff uh, member somewhere. You know and the off season and how much work goes into an off season between years anyway. But this year in particular, uh, tell us how much, how hard the Mer Mercer women's basketball team worked since last season. Well, it was interesting. In the spring, we only had six returning players, so it allowed our coaching staff to really, and our season ended rather early. So we had a couple of months to work in the spring, more on fundamentals and, and making sure that they knew what they should do on their own in the summer months when we could not be with them. Uh, some players stayed on campus the whole entire summer. However, uh, when we brought in our eight new players, it was critical that our strength coach, Paul Bohr, take them and for those five weeks that they were here without us, work them out in the weight room. Uh, it was on the players to play pickup. Uh, and I, and I, we weren't able to watch, but I think from all, every indication, when they got to us in August, they worked extremely hard. And that's uh, due to our leadership of the returning players such as Alex and uh, some of those guys got the team going. And, uh, and, and I think everyone knows that this could be a very interesting year. We, we don't know. I think it's going to be exciting, but it's very, very hard to predict yeah, how this yeah. year is going to end up. Coach, last year your team was uh, the second or third youngest team in all of America. Now I turn around this year, I look at your roster, I see what, six freshmen, I see maybe four sophomores, four juniors, no seniors. So this team is going to be young once again. Yes, and it is young on, on paper with no seniors especially. It's kind of different. I never had a team with no seniors, but it's also very, very exciting because you know, the same team that we put on the floor this year, in, 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 in addition to a couple more people, will be the team that we have next year. So we're building this, we talked about this in the past, we're building a foundation of a program, you know, and, and it takes time, it takes us uh, as coaches to, to uh, incorporate some of the players that, we, that were on the team in the, in the previous years and get them to buy in, and they, they absolutely bought in. And so now, like you said, we have all these new faces and, and it's very, very comforting to have when we run a drill. Mm -hmm. I can say, Alex and Charnay, get out there and demonstrate. Yeah, yeah. Whereas last year it was Tiffany Swalford, Rhett Wiersba, Coach. get out there and demonstrate. So that's, that's really comforting this year. Now, uh, it takes uh, talented players that you recruit, but it takes a good, solid coaching staff. Your coaching staff pretty much intact, but you do have one new addition. Tell us about the new member to your staff. Well, Marissa Henderson joined us uh, in fact, after July uh, recruiting season, so she joined us in August, uh, replaced Amy Jones. And I like to have people on our staff that, that it is, we spend a lot of time together. And I think sometimes we overuse the word family, but we certainly do spend time, more time with our staff perhaps than we do our family. So we needed to bring someone in that we already kind of knew. And Marissa played for Tiffany Swalford at UA Fort Smith at the junior college for a year. So Tiffany knew her. Uh, as a player, and I trust Tiffany and Rhett sure. and, and, and bringing quality people and with good character. Uh, Marissa was a great point guard at Wichita State, was seventh in the country in assist, um, and, and so I thought she would be a good addition uh, also for our players, you know, mm -hmm. someone younger mm -hmm. uh, to relate to. Maybe Alex would go into Marissa's office quick, quicker than she would come into my office mm -hmm. to talk about things. So yeah. we, that, that's part of the equation as well. Coach, kind of give us an overview. You've got uh, players coming back, as we've talked about. You've got a fairly young team. Tell us about the uh, younger players and the blend of uh, who we can see on the floor this year. Well, we're really excited about the six returners. You know, we feel like a lot of those guys that did not get a lot of playing time as freshmen, uh, the, the, the junior class now did not play much as freshmen. They got a lot of experience as sophomores. Uh, and so they've really, it's really been excited to see them grow and develop as juniors. And of course we have our, our freshman, I mean our sophomore class now uh, with Charnay, Boykin, Brittany, Hazel, and then Brianna Williams. And, and I might be hesitating because I am learning a whole bunch of new sure, names and it's interesting to practice for me mm -hmm. to look at the practice plan sometimes. But 
We do have two junior college transfers in the post. I always like to bring in experience at the post because sometimes post players take a little longer to develop and these two guys, uh, Jasmine Blakemore and Ray Raven Buchanan, uh, are very, very talented, uh, very skilled. They bring a new dimension to our team. And then we have our six freshmen. Yeah. And uh, five of those guys are guards. So if you look at our guard uh, position, we have five freshman guards and two sophomore guards. Uh, and then KG, of course, is a junior, but right now she's out. And then so our, our, our upperclassmen are our post players. So right now our post players are a little bit more advanced than our guards. However, our guards are very, very talented, mm -hmm. and we, we're, we think that they will catch up very, very soon. Coach, what a, uh, I'm going to say a great non-conference schedule. It's a very difficult, but, boy, the home non-conference schedule, how attractive is this? You're looking at Auburn, you're looking at Georgia, and the team that played for the national championship, Notre Dame, how excited are you to bring those quality of teams into our building? Well, it's, it's a very unique uh, situation. I mean, it's, it's a, a home uh, schedule that may never happen at Mercer again, in all honesty, in any sport. I mean, how, how in any sport, I'd, I'd question how many teams have brought mm -hmm. in a, a, a team that played for the national championship and in all likelihood is going to be potentially a number one, number two team when they come to uh, Macon in December 30th. So. Um, I love our schedule. I, I know as a player, we always wanted to play the better teams. You know, certainly uh, it, it's, it's going to be unique. They're going to be bigger, quicker, taller than us. We understand that. But part of, part of my calling here to Mercer is to introduce women's basketball to middle Georgia, not just the Georgia Techs and the University of Georgia, but we, we're trying to bring uh, fans here to, to get people excited, perhaps that aren't right in Atlanta, that aren't right in Athens. And what better way to bring in those types of teams uh, to our gym, while at the same time it gives our players something very, very exciting to, to consider as we prepare. You don't think I've used the word Auburn, Georgia, Notre Dame a few times uh, this preseason. Well, speaking of those players, let's bring in one now. Alex Phillips visiting with us today. Alex, you're a third year at Division I basketball. Do you feel like you've adjusted to the caliber and level of play of playing D1 ball? Um, I do. I think as a freshman it was hard because we didn't play much and we didn't really get the individual attention that we needed. Mm -hmm. But as sophomores we got to play more. We kind of were thrown out there and got to experience Division One basketball. So I think this year will be really good. Alex, Coach Gardner, as we talked about, has been successful as a player. She's gone to the NCAA tournament, played in the Final Four. She's been successful as a coach. You as, as players know that she wants to be successful here. With the returning players you have and the new players coming in as a team and as a member of this team, how do you feel of how successful this team can be this year? I think last year we didn't have much experience and hopefully this year with our experience and the new talent coming in, we'll be able to gel better and I know we'll do better. Now I heard Coach say on the uh, television interview here in Macon just a few days ago that the, the just being in the gym, just a new temperament among the team, everybody helping one another, and of course the second go around with the coaches. Do you sense the camaraderie of this team and, and the team pulling together as we're about to begin a new season? I do. I think not only the coaches are excited, but we're really excited to see what we can do this year. Yeah. Coach, uh, what will you be looking for this year in Alex Phillips to uh, provide on the team? Well, I think Alex is, is very, very modest in her talents. You know, she doesn't realize how good she actually is uh, not only can be but how good she is you know I think she hit the nail on the head when she she, she played 11 minutes averaged 11 minutes as a freshman and averaged 1.8 points and then last year as a sophomore uh, she comes in and averages 7.8 but but you know Alex could be one of the dominating post players in our league without question mm -hmm. and and I think she's starting to understand that she's starting to recognize that her coaches have known as soon as we walked in the gym we recognize that she has a special talent and I think she's starting to sense that. Now, what we as coaches need to do is have her have a sense of urgency because look at her calendar, she has two more years left. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, she's worked extremely hard. Uh, she's been great in practices so far. And, and I, we're really, really pleased at her uh, development and her improvement. I would say from last year to her sophomore, sophomore year, she was the most improved player. And she's, she is one of the, you walk into our practice, and you see Alex and you would say wow right now because she's getting it done. Alex, uh, the conference tournament is here once again. Of course, uh, the women's team did not participate in the tournament last year, so you guys got to just be chomping at the bit to get in conference play and qualify and be able to play in that conference tournament this year. Yes, I think we're, we're all really hungry and we've got the pieces to do it this year. 
So we're excited and we're ready. A coach from a coaching perspective, it's not an op every coach, every school that has the opportunity of participating in your conference tournament in your house. How excited are you this year? Well, it's a, it's a un unique situation without question. Uh, I, I did not attend any games last year. I think I went recruiting uh, during the tournament time. So uh, we certainly uh, don't want to put the cart before the horse, but at the same time, we, we feel like we're going to be much improved. How improved, I don't know, but uh, our objective is, you know, we talk about it even all the time, you know, you have to be clicking with, with uh, three games in March. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, we're, we're, not, we're not ready, but at the same time, we've got a long, long time. We've got about five or six months until that tournament arrives, and, and the improvement we've made so far in just four days, if we can keep that up, we're going to be a pretty special team this year. Coach, final question. I asked you this this time last year, but as you analyzed the new players coming in, the returning players, uh, for those who have not been to a Mercer women's basketball game and as we build this program and build the interest, how would you describe this team for somebody coming to the University Center for the first time in the product on the floor, what they're going to see? Well, it's still very new to us as well with, with eight new players. But at first, at first glance, we, one, we're very, very deep. Uh, you know, Alex last year had to play through fatigue. You know, she wasn't used to playing as many minutes as we mentioned before. And now when she gets tired, she can ask to come out. We can, we can put someone back in. So our post uh, presence has is, is got a lot of depth to it. And then we are, we are very quick. We're very fast at every position. Guards post. We run the floor exceptionally well. We're going to look to do a little, lot more pressing this year, running. And I know every coach says we're going to run, but mm -hmm. we're going to flat out get after it and, and go. And, uh, again, uh, it's, it's, it's still very new and young to us, but we're super excited about the prospects of this program. And of course, early in the season, Coach, homecoming with uh, the women playing Auburn, the men playing Emory. What a great weekend. And I know, boy, this is a great opportunity for us to give a plug that may be uh, watching this interview today. It's going to be an exciting weekend for homecoming 2011 on oh, the yeah. campus. We, we're, we're very excited. And, and uh, it's a great opening game. I mean, Auburn is a, is a great program, a great team. And I know that a lot of people come back to campus. It, the, the campus starts buzzing. Mm -hmm. You know, they're excited about the men's afternoon game on Saturday. And hopefully, the people that also are ready for the Saturday game. We'll get here early and come to the 7 o'clock game on Friday night. But it's a great weekend to start with homecoming. Not, not many places do that either. Yeah. All right, Alex Phillips, thanks for joining us today. Head Coach Susie Gardner. That's a preview of the Mercer women's upcoming basketball season. Thanks for joining us today.